Good morning. Boy, it is chillier than I am used to this morning. Starting out the season here. Whew. Gonna go do a little bottom fishing, a little rock cotton. Head down to the islands today. What is, what is this? Okay. That's cute, Doug. We put plastic bags on the rod. We still managed to bring a full rod rack of rods somehow. Even when we don't need them. Ooh, look at that. Just enough. You know, one thing when you're catching these SoCal rockfish, you definitely need at least two Talicas on the boat. <laughs> Shut up. You know, for these bigger cod down there, you're going to oh, need that low gosh. gear to really winch the suckers <laughs> up. Oh, there he goes. Kind of cool. Our buddy's down here at the marina. A gentleman's start. Oh, yeah, we'll be pushing back 6 a.m. for sure. Head down to the islands. We're going to be looking for, you know, rock cod, ling cod. I mean, you never really know. You catch, you catch just about anything down there. There's, you know, still sometimes some yellowtail hanging around down deep. Give it a, give it a try. It's always fun, you know. Bottom fishing is usually always a, a pretty sure thing. Uh, we'll show you what we're using and stuff here uh, in a bit. But uh, stay tuned. Should be a fun time. Sweet. All star crew. We got Taylor on board. Woo! -hoo. Right back from fresh out of Vietnam. Yeah, we got we got uh, Taylor Nam. We got a solid crew today. Taylor and Dougie. Yeah, yeah. World traveler Taylor Hill. I'm going to swing so hard on every single fish. He doesn't really for snapping next. <laughs> That's right. Take a name. So you guys, when you fish the Coronados, to do it right, you know, you should be going online. You should be getting your FFM uh, visa, temporary visa. Um, technically, you're going out of the port of Ensenada when you fish the Coronado. So, you know, make sure you have all your documentation right. We've got that all in a Ziploc baggie in there. So if you do get checked, they do they do stop you. Have everything ready, show it to them, and, uh, you know, just get back to fishing, right? If you have all your stuff, you don't have anything to worry about. Also, got to grab your uh, Biosphere bracelet. You can get these at the... Uh, at the bait shop, we grabbed ours at Dana, Dana Landing last night. Um, everybody on board has got to have one of these, so like five bucks. But uh, make sure you have these two. Um, and then of course your Mexican license, if you have that, all that stuff, you're you're good to go. Whether you get checked or not, you're fishing in a different country's waters and taking their fish, so yeah. supporting that fishery and supporting that regulation is not a bad thing. Amen, amen. A lot of guys go down there and get a bunch of complaints about the way they run it down there, but if uh, people came up here and were fishing our waters and had a bunch of problems with it, we wouldn't have the same attitude, so. Quick little summary of uh, the Nam trip. Went to Vietnam, rode motorcycles through the mountains, ate a bunch of noodles and soups, had a good time. Got a massage for about $3. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> so you didn't need to tell him that. We know what that meant. No, dude, <laughs> I said $3. I didn't get the $6 one. Oh, okay. he tipped, he tipped a dollar. <laughs> All-star crew, man. Gonna get some cod. The boat still runs. Everything seems to work properly. It's been about three months since actually the end, end of October since we've had her out. It's been a while. So we're just getting out here right now. We're they're kind of pretty close to the area we want to fish. North Island's right over here. We uh, can't really see it because it's pretty foggy today. But so when we're rock cotton, we're looking. This is exactly actually what we're looking for. So if you look right here, um, as we come up, came up onto the bank, a couple of nice rocks right here. I'm actually going to turn around and go try to find those. What I'm going to do is mark them here on the fruit now. Um, hit a new point. We'll go back and find this, and we'll uh, we'll drop down on it and see if we can. Uh, see what we catch so what i'll do is just hit the autopilot and we'll go right back to it and uh drop some baits down on it obviously when you're doing this rock fishing you're looking for bottom structure that's what those fish are going to be hanging off of rocks they're called rock fish for a reason um so 
looking at the sonar here, right here. So here's a really nice rock we're going over right now. So this is the kind of stuff you want to look for. Hard bottom. I mean, that's a beautiful rock right there. I'm going to go ahead and mark this one as well. So we'll do is we'll put a waypoint on it. Come back and check that one out. So that's one of them there. Looks like we're kind of coming up on it right now. Uh, so we'll give this a try first here and then uh, keep kind of going back to our destination. You can see it's still coming up. It's a really nice rock pile right here. So we're gonna we're gonna you know set get the position get the boat position on top of this and and drop down here and see if we can pull a couple of fish off of it. Looks like it's real jagged. All right, so we're gonna show you guys kind of the rig here. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> Just the this, you know the old standard double dropper loop here. I always start with the swivel to keep your line from twisting you when you're dropping it down this far. Things will tend to twist as you bring them up and you twist your fish right off the line. But um, just double dropper loop, you know, any big hook you have, these are actually a little on the smaller side. Um, but you know, tie your dropper loops and then you're gonna run the, the hook through um, all the way down to a, a weight. We're using 16 ounce here. Might as well, I, I like to go heavy. Just keeps you down on the bottom. If the drift is light, you know, you can go lighter. But um, you know, that's what we're using. Just put pinning on sardines or, or squid. We got a little bit of everything here. Just dropping down to the bottom, you know, you know, cranking up maybe a, a, a real turn or two just to stay out of the rocks because you will snag these up pretty easily if you're, you know, in the real gnarly stuff down there. But just making sure you're keeping contact with the bottom and uh, pretty much all there is to it, you know, you, you feel something, give it to them and wind it up. Oh, Taylor, don't go chucklehead that'll do I mean, it's a fish we'll eat. that'll fry got something a little better here i think oh you know what i got i got taylor and a huge bokashu what you got doug oh dude it's a huge dolphin <laughs> huge dolphin Ooh, look at that personal bass right Your there this bad boy yeah holy cow i'm gonna throw him in the boat that's a good sculpin, dude. Look at the size of that sculpin. Oh, look at that. Hold him up. Yeah. That is a big sculpin. All right, so for the viewers here, so sculpin is a really nice one. They're one of my absolute favorite fish to eat. They're delicious. If you like drinking the Ballast Point sculpin, this is the guy on the, uh, on the front of the can. But you gotta be very careful with these things. So they're poisonous. So you'll see the spines here. They've got spines all over them, especially when you're filleting them too. Be super careful. They're, uh, <laughs> you don't want to get hit by one of these. The breakfast beer. Breakfast of champs, bush light. We got to get the blood flowing, proper warm up. We got a couple in the bag and plenty to go. We, uh, been kind of bouncing around from rock to rock so far. It's been a little tougher. The weather came up. And the wind's blowing pretty good now, maybe eight, nine knots at least, I would say. And uh, so we tucked in and fished the shallower reefs a little bit. Got some really nice sculpin, which uh, are delicious. Love, I love eating those. Uh, got some white fish and some other assorted stuff. But uh, we are cruising past South Island here, and uh, we're going to we're going to go south, maybe towards the rock pile down here, and see if we can, you know, get back on the on the on the rockfish, try to find some nice red, maybe some link cut. Gonna go fish in the deeper water and get down, so. How do you feel about this spot? How do I feel? Look, every day is a blessing, Doug. That's right. Ooh, what is this? What do we got here? Dude, it's the same thing I got last time. That's a nice one. Dude, they're like white fish. Like, what are these? <laughs> Blackfish. <laughs> is it one of those uh that's a that's a bigger oh, one it's, i think it's called like, anyone knows what this is hold on hold still i get a nice little zoom <laughs> ah. <laughs> that's Three times the size that's big huge that's a boy. nice linger bro Woo! Woo not big enough off the what shrimp sardine sardine taylor Woo! Yeah, man. Look at that. Yeah. That's 
Pick one. It's on the board. Beautiful one, man. Look at that mouth. Let me get a little close up. Let me get a picture of these. I think I might just gotta be able to kill. What? Bite. Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Get the gap. Get the gap. Get the gap. Up top. Up top. Up top. We we'll barely hook. No, no, no. Gap, gap. In the, in the lip. In the lip. In the lip. In the lip. Nice, dude. Do the link monster today. <laughs> Blue boy. <laughs> oh yeah. Beautiful a boy. Oh, he's look nice in the corner. Good gap. Nice gap, Doug. Good boy. Gotcha. Right here. Give me a little something. Oh. So you're bigger than the last one. Dude, big old belly on it. Oh, look at that. That's all in five pounds. Taylor's the thing, man. Dude, I love this, just this view from the front. That was a big one. angry girl. Yeah. Yeah, coming up. Coming up. Oh, yeah. What do you got, Nick? I'm hoping a link, Doug. Feels pretty nice. Oh yeah. Big. Oh, big chucklehead, dude. Nice, dude. Oh yeah. Nice I'll take that. We'll eat that. Sweet. That would be good. That's all. That's all. You could have a nice golden. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh. On the mackerel. Hoping we got something a little better here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What in the hell is that? Picasso. Yeah, that's a big one, dude. Nah, what I was hoping for. Got him? He's a uh, small one, though. Yeah, so did. Tiny guy. Little red. Little guy. The red guy. Yeah. Down. Yeah. <laughs> Not my proudest moment. <laughs> we got something. There's one. Feels a little better. Oh yeah. <laughs> double. <laughs> I need to double hook up. There you go. I got it. You know. I was a little slump for the last hour. It's decent. It feels like it'll make a taco. White fish. The white buffalo. <laughs> Let's see a buffalo. White I'm fish. Stay with me. Doug, you got to go. That's a. That hey. Go ahead, dude. Go ahead. Go. That'll fry. There you go, dude. We got one eye Willie right there. <laughs> nice chucklehead here. These are great to eat. These are one of my favorites. Neck, these in reds, I would say, are probably the best. Oop, I just hit the bottom. Doug, I'm gonna let that sit, see if I can't get myself one. There we go. Nice. I think we're, uh, we're onto something over here. Found something good here, boys. It's pretty awesome being able to do this pretty much at any given moment. Ooh, I have a... Okay. Sorry, I think. No. Pull a guy here. Why don't you descend that sucker? Yeah, we're gonna, we'll descend this one. There's another number of ways to descend your fish, but what I do sometimes, is I will just like hook these things barely in the lip, just enough to have them on there, and then send them back down. Because obviously the swim bladder pops, and you know these fish don't survive if you don't send them back down. I've already got squid on there, so basically I'm gonna hit the bottom, pop the fish off, try to catch another one. A couple ways to do it. They make descending devices like the one we have right there, but I sometimes just prefer to do this. It takes a little longer to get down there, but. So hit the bottom, pop that one off. There he went. Now you go right back down and catch another one. Find a nice little piece of bottom here as we're running back. So we're gonna give it a shot. Wind's, wind's actually kind of going down here. It's going squid here. Definitely got a lot nicer out. Oh man, look at the fish on the sonar I'm stacked up on this thing. Pretty good. I'm already bit. Oh my god, it's it's they're it's they're here. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even hit the bottom. There you go, Doug. There 
you go, oh, yeah. Doc. There you go. Good couple. Yeah. I've got a light. Wait, what the? That's that's what we were marking. I didn't check. I didn't put this mackerel on here. <laughs> I came up with a mackerel. Oh, Doug's got a good oh, one. There we go. That's a good, that's a neater. I like the ones where you go tight and you hit the bottom and you're already on. It's kind of like that. It's still uh, right. double. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wintertime fun. Phew. This is not good one. This one's not tiny. I don't know what it is. I just one over here. Yes. Kick it. Kick it. Cool. Oh. I see red. I see red. You. All right, well, it's starry. Starry, I'll take it. Yeah, he'll eat. Yeah. Not huge, but these ones don't get nearly as big. All right, Doug, go get ready. I'll get you on it. I'll tell you when to drop. Sweet. Doug, what are you going to do? Get some rockfish, baby. Hey, wouldn't it be great if you catch some tortillas, too? Oh, man. And then, like, it's, like a like a jar of pico. Some pico hot sauce. Guy off the bottom. Guac. Oh, avocados. I mean, I'd fish for those. Oh yeah, that's a nice little peak. All right, Doug, when I tell you, you go down, all right? Yeah. Go down, Doug. Nope, don't, nope, nope, sorry, not yet. Nope, nope. <laughs> yep, yeah, a boy. Oh. <laughs> all that work. For what? <laughs> Low dabber. Oh, well. Probably the same Got one? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, on. Oh, I lost mine. Don't Ooh. pick it up. Yep. Little dabber. Dabbed up. I got you just see what you do is you just gut and gill. Yeah. Scale them. Yeah. You can take the head off or not. Yeah. You can trim these off or not. And then you put the whole thing in the van. Yeah, let's yeah. do it, man. This man is in the rod holder. Drinking up the stand up. No stand <laughs> Metallica. <laughs> oh yeah, do you love that sun? Hey, uh, don't they say walleye is a fish of a thousand casts? No, it's musky. Musky, the ten thousand. Ten thousand casts. Yeah. You feel like uh, rockfish is a fish of ten thousand swings? Oh, what are these and why do we keep catching them? Hey, tell me what I got here. Oh, Seven Eleven cheeseburger slider. What do you What do you mean? What do I have here? Is it as bad as uh, one would expect? No, they're pretty good for a buck fifty. You know, you got. I don't, there's not much to say here. Cheeseburger slider. You know, it's on a nice brioche. Give us a, give us a one bite. Everyone knows the rules. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same thing every time. I know what I'm getting. They're a hell of a lot better than they have a right to be. Yeah, they're great for you. Hey, tell, yeah. about, hey, tell me about 7-Eleven pizza. I just don't, I don't mess with that. Pretty good. I don't mess with three about, day, uh, three day old pizza. Seizures. And that's some good stuff. Call of Duty special. That's good stuff. You know, you got a little that little Mac sauce. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Careful, that brioche crumbles. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Oh, 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 oh. Does that have any shoulders to it? Yeah, it's a yeah. Okay. Target species? We're gonna start flaying these up here, but uh, as you can see, we got quite the assortment today. Obviously, we got some white fish, some real nice chuckleheads here. Great eating. Um, some reds. We got some really nice sculpin. Um, these are one of my favorite fish to eat. Probably my favorite fish to eat are, you know, these wing cod. Um, always fun to catch. There's some pretty nice ones we got here. So we're going to start hammering away at these. All right, we're going to flay up this ling cod here. You see, this is one of the blue belly ones, uh, the blue ones. The meat's actually blue. It's pretty crazy. When you go to eat, once you cook it, it'll actually turn white. Pretty cool. Um, so we're going to go ahead and flay this bad boy up here. See that? It's almost got like a smurf color to it. Pretty crazy. What I'm doing is just running the knife here, 
right along the back, go all the way down. Actually take your time. I mean, you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess it up. Go all the way down, get to the end. I'll just come through here. Come back, follow that, follow that backbone all the way down to the spine. When you get up here, you'll have to go through the Y bones right there and go right up and over the rib cage. I like to do it this way because you never really have to deal with the guts at all. All the way through. Just like that. Look at that. Two beautiful flays. You know, it's good when you can see through it. So, we're gonna toss him overboard. Beautiful. What I'll do here is I'll actually take this flap of skin, I'll put a little hole in here. So, get a little hole here like that, a little slit, put your finger in it. Obviously, careful, don't wanna cut yourself, but. These, are our, these knives are from our uh, good friends over at Sword. These things are pretty awesome. This is their nine inch knife. Um, check them out. Good flex on them. I like these things a lot. Super sharp. They built like a tank too. Give them a look. All right. Welcome to the Lover Up Studio Kitchen here. Uh, better known as my house. Uh, we're gonna do a little uh, catch and cook here with some of the link cod that we caught the other day. You'll see here, this is actually one of the uh, the blue link cod that we caught. You'll see it's got the blue hue. This one's actually kind of subtle. Some of them are even darker blue than this, but it's really, really cool, um, really strange, but basically they have a blue tint to the fish and the meat itself is even a bluish tint. And when you cook it up, it'll actually turn white just like, like everything else. So one of my favorite recipes um, super super easy it's just a lemon caper uh, lingcod and you can do this with halibut lingcod really honestly any white fish you know lingcod is a very dense white flaky meat one of my favorite fish out here uh, I put it up there with halibut to be honest and this recipe is super easy it takes like 10 minutes and there's five ingredients basically all you need maybe a half a cup of flour uh, some butter lemon some capers and some chives which are just basically a garnish and then of course salt and pepper um, already took this this fillet here and I have patted it dry with a paper towel just to try to get a lot of that moisture out we're gonna get the pan going here actually on the medium heat get that warming up uh, and then you're just gonna need some oil um, avocado oil is what I usually use a little healthier but you can use olive oil too first thing we do is kind of prepare this fillet this is just one fillet probably enough for about two people um, so when you fillet these things, you'll notice there's bones running down the center here. So what I usually do is I'll just come in and I'll cut this into, basically into two pieces here, just like this. All the way down, you're gonna see there's some bones running right here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take these out and that will leave you with pretty much two boneless fillets here. So I'm gonna probably get four or five nice pieces here. We're gonna hit them with a little salt and pepper. Just hit all the sides here. Take your fillets here, and you're gonna just coat these in flour. Just very lightly, coat them in flour. Nothing too thick, nothing too heavy. Chop up these chives here for a little garnish. Gonna take a couple slices here. All right, so once that pan's hot, I think it's got on medium heat here. Gonna add a little bit of oil. Tablespoon of butter. Once that butter's melted, um, go ahead and layer, layer fillets in. You know, once it starts to brown real nice, um, go ahead and flip it. Then we're gonna put a little bit of butter on top of each piece of the fish. Got my sous chef blue here. He's always here as a good helping hand. But you're gonna see here the, uh, the um, blue hue on that lingcod is already starting to go away and starting to turn white. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting what, uh, what goes on with that. Not sure exactly what it is or what the deal is there. If anybody knows, feel free to drop a comment because I'm pretty uh, curious what that is. But once it starts to kind of brown around the edges, like I said, probably four or five minutes maybe um, on the first side here, and go ahead and flip it. 
And then we're gonna add a little bit of butter on top of each one and cook the other side for maybe about four, four minutes as well. Let these babies go for a minute and I'll be right back. All right, these bad boys should be about ready to flip here. We're looking for just a nice golden brown. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. Three, four minutes on each side, but what I'm gonna do now is you don't have to go heavy here at all, but we're gonna take a little bit of butter, drop it on each one of these here. And this is actually more for the sauce than it is for anything. So, a little piece on each one. As you can see here, this meat now is already completely white, so almost all that blue tint is gone. All right, so you can tell here these are getting done now. You'll see they're already starting to flake apart. We've got a nice golden brown on the bottom side. So these are ready to go ahead. We're gonna take the fish off, set it aside, and we're gonna work on the sauce. You can reduce the heat to like a low heat, is what I do. And you're gonna come take some capers. Get that lemon in there, just like that. You're gonna take your spoon here, and I've, I've got the heat off now at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Take your spoon here, and you're just gonna stir it. A little hot, a little hot. So you're just gonna stir it here. Get all that flavor in there in that pan. It'll thicken up a little bit. And that's really about it. And what you're gonna do, grab your pan, careful it's hot. I'm gonna take a couple spoonfuls of that right there. Go right over the top of your fish. Watch out, you have those lemon seeds in there. If you get a couple capers, that's okay. And the final touch, just a little bit of chive on top there. And there you have it. It's uh, super quick, super easy. Let us know if you try it and what you think. If you got any other ideas, let us know. Um, again, I am no chef at all. This is just one that uh, it's been good to us over the years, so we like it. It's delicious, and you can do it with halibut. Um, any any you know denser um, white white fish. Honestly, you could probably do it with rockfish as well. I'm sure it would be great. Um, but. Uh, we're gonna eat this right now, so thanks for watching. And uh, you know, if you enjoy this, we're gonna probably try to come out with some more of these cooking uh, recipe videos here uh, this year. So stay tuned for those if you enjoy them. Uh, you know, please please subscribe to the channel. That helps us out more than anything. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.